Wow, did you all uh, see that hearing with the uh, Senate and Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Wow, both, both Democrats and Republicans really concerned with what he's doing at Health and Human Services, particularly at the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. And by the way, as a practicing RN nurse, I get a lot of helpful information from the CDC and the National Institutes of Health. In fact, when we're looking for something reliable based on the latest science that we can rely on, we're often looking at sites like that provided by the CDC and the National Institute of Health and such. But I think the, the connection really between Donald Trump and RFK Jr., it seems to me it's just they they're both have this affinity for unfounded conspiracy theories that are fringe and outside the realm of uh, what's kind of accepted by thinking scientists. It's just amazing to me. It, it's, it's, it's almost like you could hear RFK Jr. saying he's a member of the Flat Earth Society in those hearings. And it's, to me, the height of arrogance to think that everything else, and that's the way conspiracy theories work. Every, everybody else is corrupt. Everybody else's thinking is off. But I'm in this minority of one, two, three percent that believe this stuff, and, and we're getting squeezed out because we're the brilliant ones. And everybody, those other 97% people, scientists, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. And I, I just don't think that's a healthy way of uh, approaching things. Usually, if you're in a decided minority, like in the Flat Earth Society, maybe uh, you want to rethink uh, some of the things that you want to believe. But that's the way it is with people that engage in this conspiratorial kind of thinking. Uh, they, they really, it's, it's, it's a struggle um, to really open oneself up to be looking at things from another perspective and maybe thinking, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't this grand conspiracy and corruption out there. Maybe it's just the science and scientists have come to this conclusion and these uh, quack scientists aren't right. Let's think about that before we change government policy.